Stevenson gets an 82-36 win over Kings this afternoon. Glenn Clark alongside Coach Jackie Boswell. Coach, those second and third quarters, uh, how do you bottle that up and just try to get that every time out? Well, I mean, I think it's just something that's got to be consistent. And I felt like our last two practices, um, you know, yesterday and when we got back from break and everything, we've had that kind of energy. And it, if we can sustain that, um, it's going to be a long season to come up. But I think we're ready the way that we came back from break. I'm really happy. felt like today we kind of put it all together a little bit. Um, so, yeah, if we can, it's all about consistency. And that's what we've been talking about. I feel like the shooting is what stands out the most. Did you know that, like, at some point, once yeah. this team got their rhythm, that you're going to be able to shoot like this? I did. That's why we recruited them. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we knew that they could score. We have a lot of scorers on our team. It, it was really a matter of getting them to buy into the defense and so that you know at this level it's really it's really hard to have a shooting game like that all the time but it, it's never bad to have a, a defensive game so just trying to get them to switch their mindset from offense to defense and that the defense is going to spark the offense felt like today something came on I think the switch came on a little bit we just gotta keep it on it, it feels impossible to just have any player that stands out because everybody was chipping in but it felt like in the second quarter when Amani got going that was sort of what got the entire offense going she's such a spark plug yeah. how impressed have you been by someone I I don't want to try to you know belittle her size, but someone at that size to be that quick and to have such a spark for your offense, how impressed have you been with what she's offering? Well, I'm really impressed with her. I mean, you know, she might be small, but there's nothing small about her heart. And she works really hard every day in practice. She wants to get better, um, you know, and, and she's she's got a huge upside, and it's because of her work ethic. So that is definitely something that's not small. So All right, the important stuff. Uh, you thought this might be the year that you were going to win the Gingerbread House competition, and and came up a little bit short again. I did, because you know, you, you follow me on Facebook. I do. Um, at least I got second place. I didn't get last. Not bad. Not but, bad. Uh, yep, Tessa won again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, how five many? In a row. Five in a row. Has, has this how, how long you've been doing it? Is this five a... years. So oh, she's undefeated. Five for five. Five for five. What do you do to, to change this? I don't know. Smash it next time when she's halfway through <laughs> it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. She's got us. Give me for uh, obviously you guys move into conference play now. So give me a New Year's resolution for this team in conference play. Our New Year's resolution is we're going to focus focus on our body language, um, myself included, and um, we want it to always be positive, always have energy, even when we're not feeling well. We know the next couple months are going to be really difficult, and that's going to be a, that's that's a tough resolution. But that's what we're going to do it, and we're going to hold each other accountable. Coach, congratulations on a great performance today. We'll see you back here on Wednesday. Great, thank you. Jackie Boswell, I'm Glenn Clark, GoMustangSports.tv.